What is fierce advocacy? We use that term a lot at Novus Global because coaching is really a fierce advocacy for another person. And when you think about those two words together, fierce and advocacy, it really captures this sense of, I am your champion. I am 100% for you. Now, maybe you've never had somebody be 100% for you, but I bet you have. I bet all of us at some time or another, whether it was a teacher or a parent or a coach or another relative, we've had somebody that's been in our corner and that has been 100% committed to our greatness. And that's the beauty of fierce advocacy. It provokes greatness. It draws the greatness out of the person you're advocating for. And if you're doing it well, it also draws out your own greatness. What does it take to be fiercely advocating for another person? You've got to know what their vision is. What are they about? What's important to them? Why are they doing whatever the thing is that they're doing in the first place? Why are they here on earth? What's their purpose? What's their vision? What's their goal? However you want to frame it. You've got to know that so you can come up under them and alongside them to support it. Now, fierce advocates have several qualities. The first one is courage. Because sometimes when you are fiercely advocating for someone, you say the things that are hard to say. You say the things maybe no one else is willing to say, or maybe you say the thing the person is saying to themselves, but they're pretending not to know. <laughs> the things that they might be saying to themselves, but are avoiding or not hearing or minimizing or doubting. And it takes courage to speak out, to even risk someone's disapproval because maybe they're not gonna like it. Maybe it's gonna be hard to hear. It takes courage to step into that fear and go anyway for the sake of this other person. The other thing you'll know when you are fiercely advocating is it produces passion. There's a passion behind it. And passion is contagious. And the more you can unleash and steward your passion towards that person, towards what they're about, towards what's important to them, the more thrilling the outcome will be for you and for them. Passion's contagious and your passion will inspire and ignite their passion for why they're here and what's important to them. The third thing is persistence, relentlessness. You cannot give up. You are the stand. So many times in a coaching relationship, once someone is clear on their vision and why we're in the contract in the first place, I'll say, I will be a relentless stand for this thing in your life. You can count on me for that. Because I want people to know that the persistence and the relentlessness, the willingness to stay in it, even when maybe they wanna give up or maybe I wanna give up or maybe things are frustrating or hey, we're just tired or we could just take a break right now. Maybe we'll just put it on pause and coast for a few more months. That willingness to be relentless, to be tenacious, to hang in there, to ask the next question, to give the other remaining 10% of feedback, the other thing that maybe you just didn't say, but you're gonna say it anyhow. That's relentless, that's persistence, that's tenacity. And those are so important when you are fiercely advocating for someone. And the final thing is empathy. You are speaking because you care because you care about the person, you care about their life, about their work, about their family, about who they are, about their future. You care about the legacy that they are committed to leave here on this earth. We all know time goes really fast and we don't have all the time that we think we're gonna have quite often. And the willingness to step in and go again with empathy, with let me put myself in your shoes and hey, I know what I'm asking of you and what we've agreed to is gonna cost you something. It's gonna cost you some comfort, some certainty. You might miss an opportunity here or there to gain a greater opportunity. You don't always know, but the willingness to put yourself in their shoes, to look at the world from their perspective, their context, to see through their eyes what's important to them, what's scary to them, what's valuable to them, what have they decided is impossible, and then tap on that. Because is it really impossible? Can we fiercely advocate even for the impossible, even for what you've decided is impossible? Because it seems so far outside of the predictable, the manageable, the reasonable. Reasonableness is an enemy of vision. We settle for it, 
we go, well, we could probably do this. And if we got 10% better or 20% better, then that's great. It's great. And it's not greatness. Notice if when I'm talking about fiercely advocating for someone in your mind, it sounds like you're doing a lot of work or you're doing all the work. No, fiercely advocating for someone is inviting them to do their work, to do the reps, right? To lift the weights, to do their work. And you are there as an advocate, as a champion, and you are fierce and empathetic and passionate and relentless, and they're still doing the work. And that's part of the difference between advocacy and caretaking. Advocacy is not caretaking. Caretaking is something completely different. And if you felt stuck in attempting to advocate for someone and find yourself falling into the pit of caretaking them, doing things for them that they could actually do for themselves, check out this video. It'll give you a ton more resource on this exact distinction. So who are you fiercely advocating for in your life? And who is fiercely advocating for you? And if you'd like to find out more, to learn more, to explore more about what that could look like and what that means and how to be that stand for someone else, check us out. Now, here's a way you can advocate for me. Like, subscribe, refer. It helps other people find this channel. And it also gives me a little happiness on my side.